Rock Society of San Diego was started in 1987, but at that time it was a chapter of the National Hemlock Society, which was founded by Derek Humphrey. He gets full credit for this. And he started it because he was a British journalist, and in 1975, his wife, uh, his young wife, had breast cancer, which metastasized, and she was suffering terribly and asked him, uh, when it, the time comes, Derek, would you help me die? And he said, yes, which is a really hard question to answer if someone asks you that. He did help her die. He wrote a book about it called Jean's Way, and he moved with his second wife to Los Angeles. The book was a terrific success because people all over the world wanted to know, how did you do this? How did you find a cooperative doctor? What, how did you not get caught? And from the proceeds of that book, and he has written many, many books after this, uh, he started the Hemlock Society in his garage in Los Angeles, Santa Monica to be exact. And out of that 1980 came chapters and we were one of the first in 1987. I first met Derek when I, uh, I was involved in a case for the ACLU of Southern California, and we uh, organized a big conference sponsored by the Medical School, the Bar Association, and the ACLU. And I invited a lot of speakers, but the only speaker that made any sense to me was Derek Humphrey, because we already had an advanced directive, but we had not talked about physician aid in dying. And that's what he talked about and why that's so important. Because an advanced directive is fine, but it's not going to really help you out of the tight spots. So uh, we became a chapter. We became a very active chapter. And we remain a very active group, but we're not a chapter because the National Hemlock Society merged with other two other organizations and no longer exists. So we are now in our 33rd year as an autonomous 501c3 membership organization. And we encourage all people to join. There's no, uh, we don't keep anybody out. But we do have special meetings for members because some, some of our meetings have sensitive information. So we invite you to join, to get on our mailing list, and to bring your relatives because it's time in this world that we talked about dying in a sensible, rational way. And we also have speakers. So if you have a group that meets uh, on Zoom or truly meets, then uh, we're happy to speak to you about end-of-life choices.